please introduce yourself. Sure. I'm Mary Beth Rivera, and I'm faculty at University of Cincinnati in the Department of Biomedical Engineering, and I'm here at the NCIIA BME Idea Lab. So, so far, the main thrust of this has been creative thinking and sort of this idea of the uh, resetting the way you think. Um, why is that important? Well, we all walk into new situations um, with our own personal bias. This workshop is, gener is focused on generating new ideas, new concepts, and innovation. So in order to us really break down the barriers, we have to break down the barriers that exist within our own brain. So sort of resetting, retooling where we start off from and recognizing that we have those barriers is the first step. And obviously, uh, there's a lot of uh, academics that go into BME, but where does creativity go into being a successful biomedical engineer? Well, it's all about problem solving. And in order to solve, the, solve a problem, you need to first understand what the problem is, um, go down and uh, sort of divulge kind of what the elements are, the attributes that are important to solving that problem, and then be as creative and as broad in terms of generating as many ideas as possible to have the hopes of actually solving that particular problem. For biomedical engineering, obviously we're trying to help people while we do it. So in some instances it's a matter of life or death or it's just an improvement of quality of health. Um, so in order for us to be successful in that mission, we need to understand and, um, and be as creative as we possibly can. So far the students seem like they've really embraced this idea of trying to become more creative and, and rethinking the way they think about things. How would you evaluate them so far as far uh, as students? students are motivated and energetic. Um, it's interesting, of course, the whole personality um, displays of people who are introverted versus extroverted, um, those are coming into play. Overall, though, everyone is, um, is just motivated, generating lots and lots of ideas. Slow to start, as you would expect, there, um, but now they're kind of on a roll. We've given them a couple of different um, team building exercises and mix them up enough so that the tables aren't just sort of stuck in one particular group and that's just introduced more and more um, ability to be creative and more broad and influence each other, build on each other's ideas. Great, thank you very much.